Hello YouTube, D. Baudry here. So this cell is really bad. <laughs> that is a really rough one. Um, I am going to do some chopping. Uh, cut some welds off on camera. So the bottom of this cell is really bumpy. I don't know what happened to that one. It got beat up pretty good. But um, yeah, this is a live cell. Uh, you know, it's... Um, I don't know who makes this cell. <laughs> it's something pink. It's probably something recovered from a laptop pack is my guess. Because uh, it's not one I'd ever build in, into an EV. But anyway, let's cut some welds off. Yeah, took those off, took those off. Raise it up. Yeah, it's still got that weld right there, looks like. So let's chop that one off. Yeah, the bottom of the cell is not very flat. Yeah, cut that one off. Let me feel how this is. Yeah, there's because uh, the bottom of the cell isn't very even. I'm not very surprised that the welds didn't cut off very well. Let me... Uh, Try shearing this again, right there. Yeah, I can't even grab those. But uh, yeah, it's still, it chopped the welds right off. I'll try that one right there. No, I can't even grab it. Let's see. Yeah, to the bottom of my finger, or to my finger, the bottom of the cell is kind of rough because it's really bumpy and bent in and stuff. But uh, the welds are pretty much gone. And that's a really bad one. So here's the top of that same cell. And I've already sheared those ones off, so that one's really good. Um, important thing about the top of the cell, and this one here doesn't have uh, a paper insulator on it, so the uh, gap from the button to here is enough so that I can bite into the top of the button. So right there, I'm biting into it. So when you're doing cells, you know, and that's on the curved side, so this, the the blade does not go over the curve, and probably like right there, it would definitely bite right there. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely bites. So when you're doing the uh, positive or the button side of a cell, it's always important to get your blade lowered so that you can then butt up against the thing with the button of the cell before you start shearing, because otherwise it's uh, it's possible that you can bite into the top of the cell or the cell button. Anyway, that one looks pretty good now, other than this pretty crappy, cruffy bottom on it. So, uh, here is a recovered LG MH1. So this one's got that paper insulator on it. Now it's got enough gap in there where I don't think it's possible. Let me raise this up. And so I'm just butted up against the paper. I don't think it's going to be able to grab the top of the cell. No, it just passes right by it. Anyway, as you can see, sure those right off. And I don't know why that shows up on camera. So they're shiny. But let me try it to my finger and fingernail. Oh yeah, that's absolutely perfect. It's it's as smooth as a brand new cell. You know, you're just seeing the sheared off spots on there. Anyway, that paper insulator made all the difference. Gave me that extra little gap to be able to clear the button with the edge of the blade and not grab the button. Um, yeah, the bottom of the cell, I already sheared that one off. So you can just see the shiny spots where the shear part or the spot welds were sheared off. But to my finger, it is very, very smooth. So let me try another one here. Oh, just did that one. Oh, that's another really crufty uh whatever cell this is. Just do the top of this one. So now this one here, because it doesn't have the uh, paper insulator insulator on there, same thing. You know, I, I'm biting into the button right now which I don't want to do, so let me back that off a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> I caught it. There we go, so now I'm clear, or it was, there we go, now I'm on, on the face of the button. Now I can just shear. And you can hear a chop chop. Just takes them right off. And the top of that cell is very smooth. Um, that is almost as good as a brand new cell. Here's the bottom of the cell. Man, that another one's really beat up. Just like that other one. Same thing. Just chop chop. Yep. Just took those welds right off. Yeah. If if there's uh, a couple things that I would potentially do different, yeah, the bottom of the cell still got a little bit of a rough spot on it. So this weld right up here. Yeah, there we go. I got it. So if there's a couple things I'd do a little bit different, yeah, now the bottom of the cell is pretty smooth and the fact that it's kind of dented and stuff. But uh, the uh, the blade, it's plenty wide enough. It's just that sometimes you have to like shift the cell around 
to actually get to all the spot welds because like on on uh, this cell right here you know some of the welds were too far apart to get in one chop or I guess it was that end right there or whatever so yeah maybe as a wider linear um, rail would be better so that I had just a little bit more cutting with and also you can see that my uh, cutter is a little bit over to this side so I've got a little bit more of a gap over here that was an accident on my part but it still works well enough so that'd be a minor detail I'd fix possibly is go with a wider rail and then I've, I'm going to uh, elongate the slot or add some extra metal to my adapter wheel to make that a little bit wider so this is another MH1 um, normally MH1's are not in a dark blue package they're usually in a light blue package like this one but this one this the uh, shrink wrap on the thing was so skinned up I had to replace it so anyway it's got dark blue in it same thing um, the top of this cell is rough it catches my skin um, the bottom of the cell the same thing it's uh, quite rough and that's done with uh, flush cutters that are very flush and yeah, you can hear it chop chop and you can see I kind of grabbed the paper a little bit let's see how that feels with one cut yeah that's very smooth uh, there is one weld that feels a little tiny bit proud so that one right there right underneath the cutter let's see if I can't chop that a little bit yeah it kind of got a little bit let's feel now yeah there's still a little tiny bit of an edge on it with my fingernail I can feel it but otherwise those welds are very very gone here's the bottom of the cell same thing so they you know you can see the cutter catching on them when I turn into it but uh, yeah they're, they uh, definitely catch my fingernail and they're definitely rough to my skin and yeah chop chop and now yeah it's just shiny spots totally took those welds off and to my finger yeah, there's a little tiny bit of a rough spot right next to one of them, but you know it's negligibly small. <laughs> so much so that I, you know, a single chop like that is plenty good enough. I'll show it to you. So that one right there, that's right underneath the uh, cutter, that top topmost one. That one's got a little tiny edge on it, and there we go. Just took it right off. Let's feel now. Oh yeah, that did it. So now this, the bottom of this cell is completely smooth. It's every bit as smooth as a brand new cell. The only thing that's really different is the fact that you can see the shiny spots where the old welds were chopped off. So, yeah, people that recover batteries out of other packs and stuff, all I can say is you definitely need a Mr. Choppy or Mr. Snippy. Yeah, Mr. Snippy, that's what I was calling it. Because this is doing a brilliant job. And uh, down below, you can see all the little spot welds that I've been chopping off. I'm taking this video with my macro lens which makes it possible for me to get right in there so right now the camera lens is less than three inches away from the bottom of the cell so you can really see how good that looks and that did absolutely a spectacular job so you know I still have a cell up here that I haven't cut nope chopped them all off <laughs> yeah this this is absolutely brilliant um, I am loving this thing already.